Wow, scientists just discovered a deep space fossil. And no, it's not a dinosaur. It's called ammonite, a strange icy object that's been quietly orbiting far beyond Pluto for over 4 billion years. Now, this frozen relic might flip everything we thought we knew about the solar system. And that's because it could be the strongest evidence yet that Planet 9, the mysterious world we've been chasing for years, doesn't exist at all. Now, before we get into it, meet Ammonite, the newest member of our solar system. It isn't a planet, it's not even a dwarf planet like Pluto, you know, something in space that's big enough to be round, but too small to push other objects out of the way. Ammonite's even smaller than that. It's believed that its diameter is roughly 40 times the height of Mount Everest. And before you say, wait, that's not small, remember, in planetary terms, that's basically nothing. Earth, for example, is 30 times larger than that. Anyway, they officially nicknamed it 2023 KQ14. Inspiring, huh? But people just call it Ammonite. The nickname comes from ancient sea creatures with spiral shells, just like the ones you might find on the beach. But this little space object doesn't actually look like a spiral or anything. The name is inspired by the way it moves. And its orbit is unlike anything else out there. In fact, it suggests that the outer solar system is way more complex and varied than we used to think. There are two big reasons for that. First, ammonite's been on this path pretty much since the solar system first formed. Yeah, that long. And because it's been around since the very beginning, it's considered a space fossil. Okay, no jokes about the narrator. The second reason is its orbit. It's oval and massive, like a huge circle that's been pulled wide. Picture a perfectly round Formula One track. Cars race around it in no time. Now, stretch that track into an oval format and make it 432 times longer. Suddenly, each lap feels endless, right? Well, that's kind of what's happening with ammonite. Its orbit is so stretched out that it takes about 4,000 Earth years to make just one trip around the Sun. And that's why it's super far from us. Okay, quick recap. Here's what we know about ammonite so far. 1. It's super distant. 2. It has this weird stretched-out orbit that looks oval. And it's exactly those two things that led scientists to classify it as a sednoid. These space objects are so rare that we only know about three of them. And now, 2023 KQ14 is the fourth. So, sednoids. They are super far away. So far, in fact, that Neptune's gravity hardly affects them. And honestly, they don't make much sense to us, because their paths are nothing like the rest of the solar system. Look, here's how Earth, Mars, and the other planets move around the Sun. Their paths aren't perfect circles, but their orbits are almost round. Alright, let's zoom out. More. More. More more. Stop. Now this is how sednoids move. See how their paths look totally different from the rest of the solar system? They seem more random and are shaped like squashed circles. Sednoids are also super cool. And I mean literally cool, as in freezing cold, since they're so far from the sun. But also cool as in mysterious and awesome, because they might be hiding clues about the existence of Planet 9. So you've probably heard about this theory, right? Many experts seriously believe there could be a hidden ninth planet out at the edge of our solar system. In theory, it's this dark gas or ice giant, somewhere between 5 and 10 times the mass of Earth. It's believed to orbit the Sun on a highly stretched out path that's totally out of sync with the rest of the planets. But we've never actually seen it or proven it. Experts just think it's out there because it would explain a bunch of weird stuff happening way out on the edges of the solar system, like the wild tilted orbits of sednoids. In other words, those bizarre paths might be caused by the gravitational pull of this so-called unseen Planet 9. Now, here's the thing about ammonite. Its orbit is different from its cosmic cousins. Let's take a look. These are the orbits of the other three sednoids we know about. See how they all sort of cluster in the same general region of space? Like they're all being pulled in roughly the same direction? This suggests that something unusual happened way back in the early days of the solar system. And that pattern is a big part of what made scientists suspect 
the existence of Planet 9 in the first place. I mean, there's gotta be something out there influencing their paths. But things get even weirder when we look at Ammonite's orbit, because its path doesn't line up at all with the other three sednoids. In fact, it's actually pointing in the opposite direction. And that might mean just one thing. We might have to say goodbye to Planet 9 for good. Or maybe we've just discovered that it's actually a ghost planet. You know, like the ghost of someone who once lived on Earth but isn't here anymore? Somehow, traces of them still linger, like in a haunted house where something keeps moving stuff around in the kitchen cabinet. Well, Planet 9 might be just like that, not only in space. It might have existed a long, long time ago. But at some point, for reasons we don't fully understand, it vanished. Maybe it even got kicked out of the solar system. But its old gravitational pull could still be with us, hunting ammonite, giving it a little push. But now, we can't see it anymore. Of course, there's still a chance that its strange orbit is caused by something entirely different. Some believe it might be the result of an interaction with a rogue planet. And by that, I mean a planet-sized object that doesn't orbit a star. Or the influence might even come from stars that passed by a long time ago, back when the Sun was still young. But let's be honest, no other theory is as intriguing as the existence of a massive hidden planet. Big question, could Planet 9 still exist after this discovery? Well, yeah. But it would have to be much farther out than scientists originally predicted. Because even though people believe it might be the fifth largest planet in the solar system, there's still a massive area out there where it could be hiding. Before, scientists thought Planet 9 was about 400 times farther from the Sun than the Earth. It's also around 13 times farther out than Neptune. If we launched a spacecraft today to go find it, it would probably take somewhere between 45 and 75 years to get there. And now, with the ammonite theory coming to light, that distance might be even greater. We just don't know how much farther it could be, because, like I said, Planet 9 is still just a theory. It's more of a cool space legend at this point. But ammonite is completely different. It's real. And it goes far beyond simply adding one more distant object to our planetary neighborhood. It's helping astronomers piece together what the early solar system might have looked like. Studying the evolution of its orbit and its physical characteristics is the key to getting closer to the truth. Because the reality is, there's still so much we haven't explored. Spacecraft have only reached a tiny fraction of what's out there. Most of the outer regions remain completely unexplored. Thankfully, we have tools like the Subaru telescope, the same one that spotted ammonite. According to experts, it's one of the few telescopes on Earth capable of finding objects this remote. So now, we just have to hope more discoveries like this keep coming. And if we've just found ammonite, what else could be hiding out there in the dark, waiting for us to find it? Any guesses? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.